guys, welcome to our session for today. I am your teacher, Ms. Irvine, and together, let's learn science. For today's topic, we will be discussing all about line of evidences of plate movement. Before we start, make sure you have your lecture notebook, your pen, your module, and your answer sheet for week 8. Now let's have a short activity entitled, Name It. Arrange the jumbled letters to figure out the hidden words. Pictures are included to help you answer each item. So these pictures are related on our discussion last week. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start. So what is the picture all about? Very good. It is seafloor spreading, all about seafloor spreading. How about the next picture? Okay, very good. So that is convection current. So for today's lesson, we have here the objectives, state continental drift theory, and enumerate the line of evidences of plate movement. Last week, we had discussed the seafloor spreading theory and the magnetic reversal as its evidence, as well as the age of the rocks on the seafloor. Also, we had discussed the convection current that led to the slab pool and ridge push okay, of the lithospheric plates. And now, we will be discussing all about the evidences here in the continental drift theory. So our topics, the continental drift theory, evidences, and the plate tectonics theory. So we will sum up the plate tectonics theory later. Okay. So we will be discussing all about continental drift theory. So what is continental drift theory? This was proposed by Alfred Fetchner in 1912. And it states that about 250 million years ago, the continents were once a large landmass called Pangea. Okay, so what does it look like? So this is the Pangea. As we can see here, we have the Eurasia, North America, South America, and the other continents that are connected with each other. So we can also notice that the India is present here already okay now we have the timeline of the drifting of Pangea so we have here in Permian period the existence of Pangea so that was 250 million years ago 200 million years ago in Triassic period the Pangea started to drift apart into two supercontinents the Laurasia and the Gondwana land okay and then in Jurassic period, we have here the Laurasia started to drift then, and then we have the India and uh, Antarctica and Australia. They had separated each other during the Jurassic period or 145 million years ago. Then in the Cretaceous period, South America and Africa started to drift away. So that was 65 million years ago. Also, the India, okay, continually um, drifted from Antarctica and Australia. And then we have the present day we're in. We have our seven continents. Okay, now, what are the evidences of Alfred Wegener or of the continental drift theory? So we will be discussing the evidences. Now we have here the evidences of continental drift theory. The first one are fossils, coastline matching, mountains, and rocks. So let's discuss first the fossils. As you can see here, we have different species and their remains was found in the different continents. Let's take for example, the fossil remains of Cynognathus, okay, was found in South America and Africa. These 
Reptiles are land reptiles, meaning they can only live in land. And South America and Africa is very far away from each other as of the present day, so it is very impossible for it to swim across oceans. Okay, mamamatay lang kasi siya doon. We have also the Mesosaurus, which is a freshwater reptile. So it is also found in South America and Africa. And again, it is very impossible for it to swim. Kasi nga, freshwater lang siya. So it will die if it will swim across the oceans. Okay, and we have here the green wine, the glossopteris or a species of fern. Okay, now these are found in South America, Africa, India, Antarctica, and Australia. Okay, so across the continents. But remember that ferns can only be uh, seen on tropical country because it can only live in tropical climate. Now, it was found in Antarctica. Okay, so we can say that the Antarctica is near the equator before and has a tropical climate. Okay, and we have the Lysosaurus, which is found in Africa, India, and Antarctica. Okay, so it is very impossible for it to swim. Again, it is also a land reptile. Okay. Now, the second one is a coastline matching. We have here the South America and Africa as an example. So, it means that the edges of the plate seem to be connected with each other or seem to fit with each other like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. And as you can see here, we have here also the map. So, let's see. Ayan, so we have here the South America and Africa, and it seems to fit also with North America, then Australia, and uh, some part here, okay, of um, Asia, okay. Now, we have here also the mountains. So... The mountains across the continent seem to be one, okay, that had drifted because of the drifting of the continent. So we have here mountains in North America, in Africa, in Greenland, Norway, part of Europe, and also the Great Britain seem to be fitted with each other. Parang isang buo lang sila na nagiwahiwalay kasi nga nagiwahiwalay din yung continents. Also, we have here South America and Africa. Ayan. Na nagiwalay lang din dahil sa drifting of continents. Okay. And then we have the rocks. So, we have here the legend of rocks found in different continents. So as you can see here, the legend seem to be the same. Okay, meaning the types of rocks in these continents are the same. And remember, the types of rocks uh, that are being formed depends on the place. Okay, so ang um, mga types of rocks, we have the sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, and the metamorphic rocks. Matatagpuan yung mga rocks na yun in some particular places. Kasi, uh, those rocks are formed because of heat, because of pressure, because of accumulation of sediments, because of the eruption of volcanoes. Okay, so since matatagpuan sila sa same or sa different continents, it can be concluded that they are located before in one place or in similar place lang. Kasi natagpuan dun lahat yung mga rocks na nandito. Okay, so remember that hindi lahat ng rocks meron sa lahat ng continents. May particular rocks lang na matatagpuan dito sa lugar na to because of 
the formation of rocks, it is um, contributed or it is influenced by the place where it is located. So these are the evidences of the continental drift theory. And this theory was rejected that time because Alfred Wechner was not able to explain how the Pangaea drifted away. Okay, he said that it is only because of the tidal wave, but the scientists believe that it is very weak for the tidal wave to move those continents for them to drift apart. Okay, and that time, medyo matanda na rin siya, kaya yung kanyang continental drift theory was rejected. But it is still documented, meaning nandun pa rin siya, but this theory had triggered some of the scientists. Okay, kaya maraming gumawa or nag-study rin ng tungkol sa plates. Okay, tungkol sa Earth. Okay? That is why the plate tectonics theory had existed. Okay, so we had discussed the continental drift theory that was proposed on 1912. So, may evidence siya ng fossils, coastline matchings, mountains, and rocks. Okay, and even if na reject siya before, sa nagkaroon siya ng inspiration para sa ibang scientists to examine the seafloor, our continents. Okay, and that was when Harry Hess and Robert Diets made the seafloor spreading theory. Okay, so because of their explorations on our seafloor, nalaman nila na yung age of the rocks across the seafloor is not the same. So kung gumalaw lang siya mag-isa, dapat pare-parehas yun ng age. Right? Pero since magkakaiba sila, and also the magnetic stripes found in the seafloor, they come up that the seafloor is spreading. So sa kanila yung kinunik doon sa theory ni Alfred Wechner. So possible daw talaga na nag-drift ang Pangea because the seafloor is spreading. Okay? So ayun. After that time na nalaman nila Alfred o nila Harry Hess and Robert Diets that the seafloor is spreading, unti-unting tinanggap yung continental drift theory. So that is the foundation okay, of how the plates move. And then later on, we have the uh, studies about the layers of the earth. That's why the scientists found out the convection current in the mantle. Okay, and because of that convection current in the mantle, they found the reason why the seafloor is spreading. Okay, so may evidence continental drift theory sa Alfred Wechner because of the fossils yung natagpuan nila dito sa ibabaw ng crust. And then, uh, tinugtungan or pinalalim nila Harry Hess and Robert Diets on their seafloor spreading theory na tunay na possible na nag-drift ang Pangea kasi yung seafloor natin gumagalaw. New rocks are being formed because of the magma coming out. Doon sa gap, kapag naghiwala yung seafloor okay, or yung oceanic crust, and then, bakit gumalaw yung seafloor? It is because of the convection current in the mantle. Meron tayong uh, force, driving force, para yung plates na nasa ibabaw ng mantle ay gumalaw. Okay? That's why. And because of that convection current, we have the ridge push in the oceanic ridge. So, there is where seafloor spreading occurs. And then we have the slab pull of those lithospheric plates to the subduction zone. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng con uh, convergent plate boundary. Okay, so as a new uh, seafloor is being produced, on the other part of the world, the plate is being destroyed.
Okay, so that is a plate tectonics. Here it states that the Earth is divided into rigid segments called plates and are moving. Okay, so according to Isaac Newton, no great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. Okay, so it is with the with our imagination, kung paano tayo makakapag-discover ng kahit ano under the sun. Thank you for listening for today's video. And uh, I hope that you are enjoying and learning at the same time. So if you have questions, here are my contact details for you to reach me out.